Dokoners, welcome back to Toonami for another video on Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle. Sorry today's video is a little bit delayed, had a bit of a health issue this morning, so wasn't really able to record. But I'm doing so now, and I'm doing something that I should have done a few days ago. But again, because I've mentioned this on a couple of my videos now, I've had a very busy end of the year schedule. It's been a little tough to get out the videos that I've wanted, the edits that I've wanted. But I still plan on doing that stuff over the next week or two. Uh, and that is basically like end of the year, New Year's type stuff. So I wanted to just do this video to kind of officially wish everybody a happy new year. Do my own 2020 retrospective, I guess. This is kind of off the cuff, so it's not going to be very comprehensive. And there's not going to be really many edits. It's just going to be me talking and music. And maybe maybe the picture of me. So I just wanted to thank you guys once again for an incredible year as far as YouTube. I know 2020 overall has been the worst year of most people's lives, myself included. I've had to endure a lot of... Um, tragedies and hardships uh, this year. It's been it's been very tough actually, and you guys have probably noticed a couple of times I've needed to just take some breaks, uh, just taking some some breaks, you know, to to look out for your own mental health and uh, just give yourself a moment to relax. It's very important. So I, I've made sure to focus on that, and whenever I've needed to just take a step back and decompress, I've done so. So thank you everybody for being so supportive. Thank you everybody for being so kind and constructive. I've always talked about this on my streams, the honesty. I, I can't thank you guys enough for the honesty. Um, w when it comes to my videos, obviously, you know, I'm going to have some people disliking me. And I, you know what? Honestly, I, I kind of appreciate that. The fact that I have, like, a handful of people who actually hate on me, I appreciate that. Because it means that I'm... It validates me. It means that I am relevant enough that these, that these people actually get bothered by. So that means I'm doing something right, right? So... When it comes to my videos, you know, people give me constructive criticism, they give me feedback, they tell me, hey, you messed up here, you did. You should probably do something here. People reach out to me offering ideas for possible content. Uh, I really appreciate you guys taking a more um, active approach on my channel. Uh, I try to encourage people to be able to talk to me uh, during weekly voice chats and otherwise, and it's, it's, been, it's been pretty fun. So you guys have helped uh, keep this year from being completely ruined, honestly. So I really want to thank you guys. And uh, the reason why I'm on this this page right here, this is my channel, obviously. I wanted to talk about the fact that I am at 22.5 thousand subscribers. I had no idea that I would reach this point in one year, because this is basically one year. I started YouTube, I think, uh, last last year in June. I think I started last year in June. I could be wrong. When I say last year, I mean 2019. It's 2021 now. But, okay, in 2019, I think June of 2019 is when I started YouTube. I think. Uh, actually, we can check right here. Yeah, so I, I made the channel in February of 2019. And then I just kind of let it sit there. And I started making, I think my first video was in, uh, was in June. So, <laughs> I'm not going to play the audio. But, yeah, June 24, 2019. So, this is where it all started for me. And... By the end of 2019, I did a my first five-hour stream. I still remember that. The first five-hour stream, and I was winded. I was gassed. I was dead after that. But I was around 1,000 or almost 2,000 subscribers. And the goal that I set for myself there was, let's get to 10K. Because I had this whole roadmap planned out. I had a 100 subscriber special, a 1,000 subscriber special, a 10,000 subscriber special, and then the 100K. As you guys know, 100K, that is the milestone that everybody's wanting because that is when I reveal my face. People want to know what I look like. So um, 100K was always the end game when it comes to that. But the roadmap leading up to that was a little bit different for me. I kind of expected that it would just all be in you know multiples of 10 or factors of 10. Didn't work out that way. And the goal for this year was to get to 10K. We ended up getting to 22.5. And that was... It was amazing to, to see like when I hit 10k I think it was during the five-year anniversary or maybe no I think it was before that we got to 10k it was it was honestly very emotional for me because I didn't think that something like th this channel I, I didn't think that it had the it had the, the the firepower to get to that point so fast I thought that it would be a slow grind because you know starting out as a smaller channel it does take a while you have to gain some traction you got to be consistent you got a network, it's, you know, it's it's pretty tough. So the fact that I was able to completely shatter that 
and get to 22,000 is truly an honor. And it's all thanks to you guys. I appreciate you guys enjoying the content and uh, being here for the long haul. And then I, you know, I, I tried to set a goal for 25K, but I always, honestly, setting goals that are way beyond what you expect, that's how it should be. Because if you set a goal for like, let, let, let's say for me, I was at 1,000 subscribers at the beginning of the year. I set a goal for 2,000. Well, you're probably, given my trajectory and given what I was doing, I was probably going to pass that. For me, I feel like that's not good. You should set goals even higher so that it makes you work even harder. So the fact that I set my goal for then 25K, close to the end of the year, actually, I think it was around October, and I think I was at like 18,000. I said, you know what, let's go for 25K. Didn't make it to 25K, but you know what, I'm happy with the progress because we got to 22.5. So next year, I was thinking it was going to be something like maybe 50k because I've been putting this hashtag in all of my videos. Basically, after each milestone, every single one of my videos has the hashtag Toonrami 10k, 50k, whatever. So the next goal was supposed to be 50,000. So that means leading up to that, the campaign leading up to the 50,000 subscriber mark was going to be documented with this hashtag. So every single video involved in that journey from... What was my last uh, special? I think it was 10,000, right? So from 10,000 to 50,000, you would have a giant catalog of videos. So I figured that would be a nice way to kind of look back through the various chapters of the channel. So you'd have all the Toonami videos from 0 to 100. Then, I don't actually think I did a hashtag for Toonami 1K. I don't think I did. I think after 1,000, I did Toonami 10K. So maybe everything up till 1K is one thing. 10K to 20K would be... I don't know. Anyway, uh, I I'm trying to document the evolution of the channel so that I can have something to uh, to look back on for future videos, you know. Because wh when I do these milestone videos, it I, I do need to come up with my best and brightest ideas because I, I want them. I want each one to be better than the last one. So thankfully, I have a little bit of time. Leading up to 50K, I do have some time to <laughs> think about something. But yeah, it is, uh, it is a fun process regardless. Now, uh, back, back to 2020. Now, 2020, we, we all kind of collectively swore we won't talk about it, but we're still at the new year phase, so we can talk about it. 2020 has been very difficult for a lot of people, and um, one thing that has helped me through uh, a lot of the issues that I've been enduring, and a lot of people have been enduring, obviously, during 2020, was games. Games helped me escape from the harsh realities of what we're dealing with on our day-to-day, and uh, talking with people who share that same interest in games really, really helped me. It was very therapeutic for me. During New Year's, I spent that with you guys. Wasn't able to see my family. Um, wasn't able to see my friends. I was able to talk to you guys. That helped. YouTube has been a huge help for me personally in a lot of different ways. For some reasons that I can't really talk about just yet. But... YouTube has been very, very, very crucial in uh, helping me kind of keep a sane state of mind throughout this past year and in general. So I hope that as the channel continues to grow, I will be able to share more with you and give back in whatever way I possibly can in the form of at least entertaining you with some content, with some funny intros, some voices and all that kind of stuff. It, uh, 2021 will be better. 2021 will be better than 2020, guaranteed guaranteed will be better and uh, I will see to it personally all right uh, so I don't really have much more to say other than thank you and I wanted to tell you that the countdown videos the top 10 videos of 2020 all that stuff that a lot of people like to do for their channels I'm going to still be doing those they will be happening probably in the next week or so just because again uh, I've got a few things happening at the moment end of the year deadlines and all that so we're, we're I'm, I'm clearing that out I'm almost done with all of that so by the time the world tournament ends by the way the fact that I'm recording this video for you guys should tell you that I am really not committed to the world tournament I would not be doing this if I was fully committed to the world tournament by the way I've been getting messages from people the world tournament has been not been that try hard so for those of you who have been on the fence about kind of going crazy on it Honestly, I say go for it. I'm not trying as hard, so my rank is not going to be nearly as high as it usually would. But I've been I've been getting word from some other tunes and also some fellow top-tier World Tournament players that it's really not that sweaty. So for those of you who are kind of on the fence, go for it, man. Go for it. Just do it. Why not? I'll be streaming some World Tournament. 
I'm recording this video. I'm not even, my phone is off. I'm not even doing the World Tournament right now. I'm recording this video. So, growth, all right? Growth. That's, I see that as an absolute win. Oh man, I lost my train of thought. <laughs> I was gonna say something else. So what can you expect from this channel in 2021? You can expect more videos, more live streams, more voices, more collabs, more games. I would like to branch out to some more games on a more consistent basis. For a little while, I was beta testing a couple games on the channel, but I never really went full in. I don't plan to go full in, but I do plan to do more videos on other games, like for example, Grand Cross and Legends. There might be some Duel Links content on the channel. I'm not sure yet, but I do plan to expand some of the games that I play on this channel, just because in the long term, you know, Dokkan's not going to be lasting forever, and I will want to eventually branch out to other games. Legends, Fighters, other Dragon Ball games that I haven't even been able to experience yet. So there will be more content on the channel, more edits. As the channel evolves, you will learn more about me. As the channel evolves, I will be able to upgrade my setup. So there's a lot of cool things in store. Everything that you've seen on the channel in terms of edits and uh, just creative videos, those are all just off the cuff things that I taught myself. I never really... I never really trained in the art of editing. I never really trained in the art of content creation. So it's all been an evolutionary process. So eventually you will come across some very ambitious videos that I never thought that I could do. For example, like the video that you're watching right now, this is one of my favorite videos that I've ever done because shout out to Nanogenics. He actually watched and reacted to this and that was probably one of the best moments of the year. So expect to see that in a video coming up. But uh, this video that I recorded with Goresh, Dfree, and Nolar, um, that intro, that smash intro, I built that entirely from scratch. And I never thought that I was capable of doing something like that because back when I started, I had a laptop with a, with a non-existent graphics card and I was rendering videos at like, for like, it was, it would take six hours or something like that to just make a 15 minute video. Now, I'm able to make a lot better stuff with the edits. It's still very difficult because I gotta really think outside the box and then I'm trying to teach myself certain tricks. I, don't, I still don't have you know, all the know-how, but it's been, uh, it's been a very fun journey to learn. So as the channel evolves, you will see and you will witness that evolution through my edits and through the various types of content that I bring you. So with that said, I would just like to wish you guys a happy new year. Thank you so much for being here, being in my corner. I feel like I, I can say this, eventually, when I become one of the bigger channels, you guys can say, you know what, I was there when he did this stupid thing. I was there when he did that stupid thing. I was there when he recorded this video. I was there when he accidentally did a live stream. Do you guys remember that? For those of you who were around back then, I accidentally live streamed, I think a couple of times. But I kept that video on the channel, I think it was a one second video. So for those of you who remember that video where I accidentally live streamed, let me know in the comments right now. There will be more moments, there will be more memories, there will be more memes. Everything will be coming back and then some. I, I can tell you that right now. The stupidity will not leave this channel. I'm just telling you, all right? So thank you once again, everybody, for an incredible journey. Here's to another 25,000 subscribers. Or here's to another 70, 77.5 subscribers. We're going to go for the 100k. Maybe I should change the hashtag. But if I change the hashtag, then I wouldn't do a, a special at 50k. No, I'll, I'll keep it. Okay, we're on paper, we're going to have 50k as the goal. But a lot of people have been telling me, so I'm going to say it now, we're getting 100k by next year. All right? Book it. Mark it. Future me. You want to edit this? All right, cool. So that's going to be it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like down below. Let me know in the comments. What was your favorite moment from this year on the channel? Let me know the video the edit in particular, um, or let me know what summoning reaction you guys enjoyed. There will be uh, a few of those countdowns over the next few weeks reflecting on the channel. So let me know your thoughts. And you know what, just talk to me. Just tell me something you guys had to overcome or you guys dealt with. And uh, let me know all of that in the comments down below. Also be sure to subscribe for more dope content and other content in the future. And click the notification bell so that you let YouTube know you want to see more of my stuff. Do it. Thank you so much, everybody. Happy New Year. Stay safe. Let's forget 2020. And always remember to Dokkan responsibly. See you guys.